What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know who it is. It's y'all favorite auntie pool. And y'all can hit that like button. Y'all can hit that subscribe button. Y'all can hit that notification notification bell. I don't want to hear nothing. So let's go on and get into this story. Because I need to go on and finish this one at least. So, like I said, he goes in the house and he sees his daughter. Her clothes ain't on her. She don't. She ain't looking the same. He like, what's up with you? She was like, mom and her boyfriend. He like, what you mean? Mom and her boyfriend. So he instantly grabbed his daughter, take her at the house, and take her to the hospital. He take her to the hospital, it's confirmed. The daughter has been violated. But once she get there, she just go mute. Remind you, all she had said was mom and her boyfriend. He don't know what the fuck then went on. So now he calling her. Like, where you at? She not answering the phone. She not answering the phone. She not answering the phone. So it's like a day later. She finally called back like, what you been calling me for? He like, bitch, where you been at? She like, I went to the store. Da, da, da. He like, bitch, you ain't been in the house with my baby. Where you at? She like, I'm with my dude. Da, 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 da. He like, bitch, come here. She like, no, she won't come to him. He like, I'll tell you what, bitch. You better not never go back to the house. I better not never see you again. Nothing. That's what he tell her, right? She like, what are you talking about? He like, okay, play stupid. He like, bitch, if I catch you and your nigga, whoever fucked with my daughter. She like, ain't nobody messed with your daughter. He like, bitch, we been at the hospital. I know for a fact she been touched. So he goes to the police, he file a report. They're trying to talk to the daughter, but she won't say nothing. So they don't really have nothing to go on based on what he said when she said the mom and the boyfriend. Now, when they ask if the mom and the boyfriend hurt you, she say, yeah, but she don't go into detail everything. But they really don't need that because they got the medical report of what happened. But they do need her to say something or whatever. So now they put a warrant out for the mama and the boyfriend. They don't show up. I don't know where the fuck they didn't disappear to. The mama then became a whole new motherfucking person. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole new motherfucking person. Like she's not even the motherfucking same. So he finally get to take his daughter home. The mama come. The daddy come. They all over there at the new house with the kids. And the, uh, the baby mama. She comforting the baby girl. She talking to her. Da 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 da. He going crazy. The daddy like chill. Calm down. You know, I know you mad and I'm with you on whatever you want. But we gonna be smart about it. Da 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 da. He like you did all your police support, you did everything, da da da. So like, yeah, the judge sided with him. Like, yeah, you can have custody of your kids. And clearly this bitch didn't even show up to court. She ain't in her right mind. They got rules to stay away from the kids. So he done went to the school and the baby mama told him, like, I think you need to pull him out of that school. I think they need to have private tutoring right now. I don't think they need to be around nobody. You need to make sure, you know, you nipping the problem in the bud. Making sure everybody know this is not love. This is not okay. All the proper steps that it needs to be taken to get this shit done correctly. You get what I'm saying? The mama like, I agree, whatever. So, mama sit down with the baby mama and say, you know, I understand we met in these different type of situations, but I just want to say I appreciate you and I respect how you've been checking up on me, coming to see me even when I was mean to you. See, I didn't even tell y'all that part. You know, baby mama stepped up for us like with everything. You know, she a real woman, so she stepped up all the way around. Mama was being rude to her. She really didn't care because mama still had a little hope for uh, her daughter-in-law and her son, you know, because she felt guilty, but she realized where his heart was at. So she just, you know, wanted to go with the flow of where her son's heart was at. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, so now, you know, he in his zone. You know what I'm saying? He in his zone. So he called his homeboy and he tell him, like, bro, like, I'm going to do something to her. And he like, bro, whatever you want, I'm on. You know what I'm saying? So he like, I'm going to find out where she at. He going to look around town. She's not in town. Ain't nobody seen her. Don't nobody know where she at. But he knows she got people over here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So 
couple of weeks go by, you know, now everything is getting kind of back to normal, even though it's not normal. It's been more than a couple of weeks. It's probably been a few months, you know what I'm saying? So they go take them a trip, you know what I'm saying? Take the kids like to Little Disney World, you know, Orlando, just trying to have a good time. Everything is good. Everything is good. Them and the baby, they life is 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 all good. And then he get a phone call from the police like, we got her. He like, oh, okay. But really, when they got her, it just brought up the fact that, damn, now I got to drag my baby in the court. Got to see her. Got to see him. Even though he already got his own mind and set and his game plan going. You know what I'm saying? So now, the baby mama like, man, let the people deal with her. And we just keep living our life. He was like, I know it seemed that easy, but I can't let it go like that. She like, I'm not telling you to let it go. I'm just saying, you know, let's try to be less as possible in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's not try to be, um, so, um, Somebody just threw me off. Anyway, so she he was like, I, she was like, because I don't want your stress level up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you. And he was like, I'm going to be cool. You know, so, you know, she done got caught. They going to court. She basically was saying, you know, I've been getting on drugs, this, this, and that. I'm the one violating my daughter. It wasn't him. Mom is taking the blame for everything. And at this point, the daughter had confided in the baby mama and said that the mama and the boyfriend was molesting. Now, the mom, the baby mama had confided this into her, you know, her baby daddy. But she said it without saying it. Direct that the daughter said it only because the daughter asked her and begged her not to break the trust. So she was saying it without saying it. You know what I'm saying? So when they was talking, he just was like, what do you know? And she just was like, you know, I know it was him and it was her. And he was just like, he was hiding it from me. He like, She was like, no, your daughter asked me not to say specifically. She like, I'm coming into this family. And I want to come in with trust and honesty. I didn't lie to you. You know what I'm saying? So he basically apologized to his baby mama. And understood where she was coming from. You know. Understood she just trying to be a good, you know, stepmom. She ain't trying to come in and do too much. So. That's how that went, right? So they go to court. You know, when you go to court, you get the documents. So you going to court for all this shit. He find out exactly who this nigga is, where he stay, and all this type of shit. So when they all go to court, you know, oh boy had people that came. One of the people, he was like, okay. And one of the people, you know, just was like, free my people, you know, felt like, you know, his people ain't did nothing wrong, little girls lie all the time. You know, just being extra how people go when they go hard for their family when they believe them. You know. So, you know, baby daddy was just sitting there peeping everything in court. Not saying too much. Baby mama just, you know, was right there by his side, you know. They finished the court. They go home. He tell her, you know, I'm going to go out for a little while, distress or whatever. And, you know, I'll be back. She say fine, she got the kids, she ain't worried about nothing. He go out. But when that nigga go out, that nigga see. Well, he don't see, he gon' find. Oh boy, people. You know, he made sure he called a connect to have a connect to make sure he stayed connected. So, oh boy, go to a bar. He wait on him outside the bar. Oh boy, come out the bar. He walk right up on him like, so you thought that shit today in court was funny. 
Oh boy, Lord, and like, oh, you the daddy, you mad? Cause that little punk ass daughter, he all lied, yours lied on my cousin. Da 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 da. And next thing you know, he got the whoop in his ass. Boom, bam. Like, oh boy, couldn't get no more words on. I'm talking about he beat the dog shit out of him. Had that motherfucker looking like he got caught in a yin yang slang. You understand? I'm talking about baby, boop ba bing, boop ba bing, you understand? Ooh, yeah, I'm talking about he woke his motherfucking ass out. He had blood all over him, so he left. He went home. He hurried up and rushed in the bathroom, took his clothes off and shit. Baby mama peeped that someone right, he was disheveled, she didn't really see. So he hopped instantly in the shower, but she walked in the bathroom and was going to say something, but she looked on the floor. And saw the clothes. So she just closed the door, went back, laid down. Notice the next day when they got up, he laid in the bed like it was nothing, like nothing was wrong. So she noticed the next day she go to look for the clothes. She can't find them. They not in the dirty clothes hamper. They not nowhere. So she don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? She don't say nothing. She just go on about her day. You know, take care of the kids, do her job. She got it all taken care of. He wake up, give her a kiss, tell her, you know, hope she have a great day. Anything she need, you know, regular shit. But she kind of like, you feel or whatever. So, a little while later, they asked her, um, not that they asked her, a little while later, he had asked her, like, you know, you want to go out or whatever? She was like, no, nah, I just want to stay in the house. You know, it's fine. We don't got to go nowhere. And he was like, okay. He was like, you know, I got some more business to take care of. And she was like, oh, okay. Then she looked at him. She was like, how you cut your hand? And he was like, oh, man, just fucking around. Fucking around, cut my hand. She was like, oh, okay. She was like, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? He was like, no. She was like, because, you know, lying is a deal breaker. And I don't want to lose everything we built because it's based off a of lie or guilt. Or, I'm um, get back, or, you know, something like that. He was like, no, nah, I'll lay you to death. He was like, and I'm going to do anything to keep you. And she was like, okay. So, that particular day, he left out. He was in his mind. He ready to, he ready to still do some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, his homeboy called him like, hey, oh boy, you beat the shit out of him in the hospital. And he was like, bro. You didn't even look to see that they got cameras, like, you slipping. He was like, nah, where I parked at. He was like, yeah, but they got you walking up, you know. He was like, but he was like, I know it's you, but hopefully nobody else do, you know. So, that's how that went. So, he went, and he was thinking as he was driving, like, man, she been solid with me, you know what I'm saying, so... He goes to the little ring shop. He find a fat ass rock that he thinks she'll like. He got it because now he want to propose to her. You know what I'm saying? She been solid with him. It's been some time now. She been loyal. You know, he loving her. So he go talk to his pops about it. Mom, stay with it. They ain't got no issue with it. You know what I'm saying? And then pops is like, just make sure you clean up everything you got going on. Cause you don't need nothing to come back and bite you in the ass. You know what I'm talking about? They still go to court. They finally go to court. Mom and the NL boy, they only get like two, two years, four years apiece. You feel me? It really wasn't nothing. So he was mad as fuck. Good behavior. They'd be out in a year. You know how I go. So life is going on. They life it. He go propose to, well, before he go propose to his baby mama, he call her people, they come down, he talk to her people, you know, he doing it legitimately, you know what I'm saying? Her people excited, you know, they think it's wonderful, everything is going cool, you know what I'm saying? But remind you, he didn't snap before. And you know, everything you do in the dark will come to the light. So he having this party, you know, somehow everything going good. 
boom, he get everybody attention, he proposed to her, she accept. As soon as she accept, baby, next thing you know, you hear at the door. I ain't like, what the fuck, you feel me? What the fuck, alright. One of the people gonna answer the door is the police. The police looking for him. The police then got a fucking warrant for his arrest. They grab him immediately. And then right after 